Hello and welcome to another edition of Isn't Rocket Surgery. My name is Evo Terra. And I'm Jeff Moriarty. Let's talk ebooks today on Isn't Rocket Surgery. Uh, typically, when we think about ebooks, we're thinking long form words of 100,000 counts fiction, nonfiction, but that's not all that we have with ebooks. Today we want to talk about how different types of writers can also profit from ebooks. Yeah, we'll talk about three different things. We'll talk about three different writers that can profit from here, the bloggers, the journalists, and also, strangely enough, amateur scientists. First up, bloggers. When bloggers tend to think about entering the ebook world, they think about blog to book. They're going to take their huge body of work, get a publishing deal, and away they go. When really the opportunity lies in the ongoing content that bloggers produce. Uh, the, if you do a series on a particular topic, uh, take a category off your blog, find a common thread, publish it as an ebook. Do a series of these as you're writing rather than wait for one gigantic deal. Hit the 99 cent to a $1.99 price point, and there's a lot of opportunity for ongoing revenue to support your blog. And a similar thing holds true for journalists, always bound by their medium, whether it's in newsprint or whether it's in magazine. That slightly longer form in the ebook is just talking about, yet not nearly as long as novel length, can work really well from them. Say you're a food critic and you want to explore an entire series of not the entire metropolitan area of New York City, but maybe just simply in the Soho area, much smaller book that goes into there. Works really well. Release it again for the same low price point, produce an entire series of these books that come out quickly as opposed to one giant book waiting for that to happen. And then last but certainly not least, amateur scientists, which is a bit of an odd category, but there are so many people out there experimenting in everything from astronomy to home brewing to maker bot material. Uh, there's an opportunity for people to take their ideas and put them right out in an ebook form. Schumacher Levy was a comet that plowed into Jupiter a few years back right. and was discovered by an amateur astronomer. Now now, granted, that was had a very short time period, but a scientist trying to get into a peer-reviewed journal has a much greater length that they have to hit, much higher bar, whereas if they want to put an idea out there to get some community input, write an ebook. So those are three simple opportunities that we can think of right now, writers who typically aren't considered authors of ebooks that can take advantage of this expanding ebook form. After all, it isn't rocket surgery. And I have no idea how long to end it. Um, you got an end? It is a rocket surgery. Oh, yeah, right, yeah. Yeah. <laughs>